Hi folks, welcome back to the battle for the Seven Kingdoms. It's round three and we have a very big game coming up, the deciding game between the Proudwing Kings and the Targ opponents, uh, with another long name that I'm not going to say, and it's going to be Hanna Lunser against Reinhard Schetschik, so two very prominent players, uh, two of the best players in the world, and yeah, nervous times, but let's have a look at what the decks are like. So Sara is with me. Hello Sara. Hello. You do like the Targaryen decks, don't you? <laughs> uh, this is my favorite Targaryen deck so far, I think. If I had to play Targaryen, I would probably choose this one. Well, it's a Brotherhood deck, so let's see the threats. There is no Morgulis and no Doheris, but uh, there is first Snow Winter and Mad King's Command, which is tricky. Fight for initiative as well, have March to the Wall and City Besiege that have high numbers that uh, the Barak Ohor deck cannot really beat. And we have the Slow at the Gates opening, <laughs> which I think is a bad card personally. And the Smith is here as well, only 7 attachments, not as many as Kohor, but should be enough to utilize the Smith pretty successfully. And then we have what? We have uh, Queen's Guard to put on the character that uh, dominates the board with the agenda, of course, which could be Tormund, he has printed Intimidate, uh, could be a character that also has Dragon Egg for, uh, for Insight, could be Varamir's six skins, he gets a keyword, or could be the annoying Jukan Hagar, who can put uh, Valor Morghulis tokens everywhere and start, uh, start skilling people off uh, with the help of Kindly Man. So those are all pretty big threats. There's Lady Stoneheart as well, three copies, so she needs to be dealt with. And uh, the event, so Nightmares, we know in Kohor is tricky if it's played on someone like Robert Mid challenge when you expect him to stand with Lightbringer or something like that. And also two copies of Put to the Sword, so targeted kill to replace the potential uh, plot phase kill with uh, Morghulis. So no one is safe in this matchup. Um, and we have this, so we're not going to go over the Baratheon decks each time since uh, we just repeat ourselves, so it's the Barra Kohor, it's Rashi, has the big guys, Robert and Stannis, has attachments that give renown. Um, that's not that's not the Kohor deck, sorry. I tried my best to present the correct one, but uh, yeah, still messed it up, it's this one. Um, so no events here, just attachments and uh, characters that have renown and supporting lore stuff with Melisandre to kneel a bit. And the plots, some deal with uh, the Targaryen threats. There's um, King in the North that stops Queensguard triggers. There's uh, also the Smith to kneel locations, which matters sometimes, especially if there's uh, an annoying card that wants to get rid of your negative attachments. Uh, rationing can stop put to the sword. And uh, yeah, I suppose that those are the, the main ones. There's Mad King's Command on this side as well as the closer potentially. It's also the the plot with the highest initiative. So it's not going to be fun battling for initiative. So my hope is maybe Reinhardt uh, struggles with Econ and needs to play at the gates early and Hanno plays the Maiden in the meantime. That would be nice. Uh, have they started? They have. So let's have a look. So this is the setup. Oh, we're actually best setup, so sorry about that. So it's uh, actually the Maiden into March to the Wall, which hit Robert. Okay, so it's open deck list. Hano knows that there is a March to the Wall. Set up Robert anyway. And uh, on the other side, there's uh, already a duped Tormund. He has Queensguard and, okay, he has a Milk. Why is there a dupe Torment with Queensguard in play? Yeah, um, doesn't look brilliant, right? Uh, wondering if he had the bad starting hand that he had to set up Robert. Well, March is gone, so I guess the Acolyte might be claimed here, and then can try to play air and trade uh, Alistair for something else. If you trade him for Stannis or Melisandre, you get a kneel of that as well. Stannis would be pretty decent. 
but yeah, that hope of mine that uh, Reinhardt goes, um, that Hanno goes really quickly, that that's how some of the test games went. That's not going to happen now. Single rose road here, so didn't get at the gates. We will struggle to marshal a bunch of stuff from here on, but he has, he has torment with his uh, Queen's guard. That's annoying. If we could get. Uh, Win initiative somehow, go first, do a challenge and play hunting accident on him. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, there is two copies of uh, Karth in the Targaryen deck, so he can get rid of some of the attachments, but... Uh, yeah, that stopped him for a while. Well, there's the Maiden, so he's not going to bother with the, the gates in this game, it seems. And uh, Hanno wins initiative, so he can go first with the Smith, that has nothing to kneel now. Uh, does he have a hunting accident in hand, maybe? That would be pretty decent, to just have it in hand. Come on, let's have a good board now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get Robert March it is really harsh. Had to set that but set that up. Yeah, King's Road is fine to keep if you have a right board for the initiative boost. But right now it's probably better to just have some good cards coming. Yeah, a Melisandre, a Chad, and a Hunting Accident, come on. <laughs> Some dupes, maybe. <laughs> Stannis with Seal of the Hand. Uh, that's not too bad. He has a decent chance of winning a challenge, I guess. Uh, doesn't have the Warhammer. Alistair has that, slightly useless on him. So he can try to win a challenge and put a hunting accident on Tormund and uh, stands himself, of course, before. Yeah, seven gold, more than enough to do annoying stuff. If you see Jaken Hagar now or something like that, that's going to mm -hmm. be so disappointing. Well, now you can, there's a ghost. Could be used as well. Ah, uh, yeah, can't intimidate everyone. Okay, so first snow is not going to be a threat in this game, but um, Mad King's command now is something that Hano will be looking at. But he needs three characters, four. Uh, hopefully, so that Alistair can uh, replay. The problem is, how does he stop military claim? Yeah, I think he has to take bodyguard at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Can he win two challenges? He needs to win... He needs to try to win one. Power, I guess, is doable. To put that... Um, that um, hunting accident on. Because he's now taken... Inside, so he has uh, unlimited stand basically. But if he has to, if he cannot stand, then that's Stormund locked. Yeah, but if he is military, then Stannis is alone on the board. That's yeah, but March is gone. Like
Yeah, I think he has to attack with both. He does a half-hearted attack. The problem is, okay, if there wasn't Queen's Guard, you could um, you could say, okay, I'm just going to attack, and if the opponent kneels characters to defend, then that's just as well. Mm -hmm. But not with Queen's Guard and the insight on the same character. Yeah. Thinking about this. We've been here before. Have to commit with both, I think. Yeah. Just checking if the connection is still holding, I think. No timer, as we've said, so. Well, do we go power here, lock, torment, and then, uh, okay, Alistair dies, we try some kind of uh, Mad King's Command or another plot next round, I don't know, depends on the hand as well, I guess. Yeah, but there's two challenges with Tormund. I don't know if right now that's the worst threat. I think I would take Bodyguard here instead of instead of the hunting accident. I mean, he can win two challenges anyway. With this board? I don't know. The problem is Reinhardt has initiative for the rest of the game and is there going to be another chance to win the challenge against uh, this board? Okay, doesn't defend, so Stannis gets to draw. And see that the hand is going, I think, for a hunting accident. That's going to be the plan. There is a milk on Tormund as well. You could try that if if he can win a challenge, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> could he try the milk for intimidate and then still win military? No, he can't win military if no. he does that, so has to um, do the hunting accident now. Okay, it's going for your plan. Bodyguard on Stannis. Wants to keep both of them alive. Yeah, I think... Like, while there's milk on Tormund, is it really that much worse? If Tormund does two challenges versus Angai? Oh, hunting accident mm. was in hand. Or did he draw it with Stannis? Did he uh, want yeah, to put it on and, and <laughs> draw it with Stannis? That's amazing. That's so disappointing. That's the the most important attachment in yeah. this whole matchup. Okay, so he's complained about his hand, which means maybe Ghost has helped him now in other ways. But yeah, that's so disappointing. That really is dreadful that this happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another Alistair. Well, he would have duped him, right? So that must have been the card that was drawn. Yeah, so he well, it, could, it could have been drawn with Ghost. Oh, yeah, that's also possible, yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so he's keeping the original five. That's too bad, the two of Alistair to stop some of the pressure. Would have been okay. I think we are going to lose this one. Yeah, it's not looking brilliant. No. So air could be played next round. Alistair will kneel someone. Ooh, it's not going to trigger the Archivist, is he? No. Uh, Alistair would kneel someone and be traded for something bigger, presumably. <laughs> Or do I just go Matkins command and see what happens? You know, uh, kind of level the playing field. Three cards on, on both sides and if you have a Warhammer somehow. Stanley still has his seal of the hand. And Reinhardt would need to play, what, uh, City Besiege to, to win initiative. So mm. Yeah, I guess only City Besiege would win against Mad Kings, but they can for Mad King is not that good, I don't know. Has two attachments in play. And the inside keeps drawing, of course, so you can keep the best cards. Discard uh, the others for Queen's Guard. Yeah, losing hunting accident really hurts. He could have played Madkin's Command, uh, traded for a Warhammer and uh, put a hunting accident on, on Tormund. Stanny stands with seal of the hand. Well... Ah, okay. Reinhardt knew this was coming, so he plays the high initiative plot. He has the two claimer now. Yeah, can't can kneel the icon as well, so... Yeah, can't kneel Tormund, because he stands like crazy. This gold is uh, not important now, because he can only keep three characters. Although his three characters are not that great, to be fair. Tormund himself is okay, so he's going to keep him and Angui and probably the ghost, right? Yeah. Definitely even Jory, but... Do we have duplicates here? Come on. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Doesn't help because... Tormund stands. Although he doesn't uh, win a challenge against Tennis. Hmm. Could take uh, stealth here, even. Let's see. But then there's no intimidate. Lots of cards going to waste here also for Hano. Has six and none of them could be duplicates. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> Alester după să discarăt părintric. Mm. Outrageous. And Hollow here is here now, so it's going to just grab a Lady Stoneheart or something. Well, you see, if hunting accident was played last round, now this would look okay. Torment would be possibly knelt, and the other characters are not strong enough to beat Stannis. And if they were, somehow then uh, Imri triggers, and you start playing as Baratheon here. But if he really drew that with Stannis, that's I, I just no, like, that's an... that's it's... such an unfortunate um... yeah. Interaction that could happen. Beats my uh, luck from last night. When I got uh, the, the trick claim played against me and Storm's End lost for Intrigue, it was just horrible. But this is just the one solution and it, it was gone in s such a stupid way. Drawing one card from what whatever uh, 45 that were available. Okay, so Tormund gets stealth to make sure he can actually push through the challenge. Doesn't get intimidate, but two will die. Unfortunately, that means Imri will die. Could have tried something, I guess. Maybe in the standing phase, and then you play King in the North if if you can. But okay. Alistair triggers, so he's going to kneel Angui. Mm -hmm. There is no insight now, right? So if Tormund wants to. Stand, he needs to spend cards, and he does to claim, but it's not beating Stannis, is it? Well, he has third still, so ah, he started Stannis, okay. And now Hano can do two challenges. <laughs> does he have? Any more solutions? He has that seal of the hand to trade, but that's kind of the best attachment now that he could hope for. Well, Unless I he plays King in the North, then that doesn't trigger next round, I guess. I think probably trade it for Lightbringer now. To at least get some renown. Yeah, but you're trading down. If you do that, then you're not getting yeah. it back. Guess. So he can do power, he's going to grab a card for Stannis doing that. Does he trade Seal of the Hand is the question. If he wants to play King in the North then he may as well because that's not going to trigger next round. Does he mean initiative with King in the North? I don't think he does. So Um so it's two, right? I don't think Yeah, and the King's Road. Hmm. Because if he went first then even a, a Warhammer could be considered. Well, 
Well, is he thinking about Kohor or has that... Uh, yeah, he's not uh, trading out of zero the hand. That's uh, It's a problem because because of Queen's guard, if he now plays King in the north, it's going to stop his uh, attachment. So Lightbringer, in that sense, would have been okay. <laughs> Although he commented on his uh, draw again with Stannis, maybe that drew something that it wasn't supposed to. And here's Varamir. Well, we haven't lost yet. Although it's not looking good. Can we still draw something? Yeah, some luck with double decking now. <laughs> Rationing into the smith, that wins Hano initiative, so he can go first. It's not going to have anyone killed with put to the sword or with Jukan Hagar. And yeah, he keeps um, his seal of the hand. Maybe. Tormund's ability doesn't work even if he gets rid of the Mirk, but Intimidate days, so probably not the best. Okay, now he needs to be careful about his uh, locations because of the smith. He needs to do things in the correct order. He has first action here. Yeah, okay, so that's the king's road gone. Selisi with a dupe. Yeah, All right. But no, Zora Hairi Oh, no, yeah. Or even one of the other attachments would still be nice. So no Mad King's command now to reduce the board if Reinhardt goes crazy. The thing is, though, Reinhardt plays for Snow, which loses him a lot of characters, and he plays Mad King's command himself. So he has only one more plot where he doesn't need to do that. Uh, at the gates, is it? Ugh. Oh. Okay. And now you just need to do everything you can to milk her, and even that seems tricky. I guess Stannis needs to do both challenges and... Uh, Starting with power, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. But actually, mm, oh, military is a bit better now. Marshall Smith, I'm there. <laughs> and there's a non kneeler on the military yep. challenge, so if he starts with power, it's 10. And uh, it can be defended without anguish, so. And then. Tormund and Angu can defend the military challenge. He c can start with Selyse's intrigue, but that also spends only Lady Stoneheart. Yeah. Can't be done, I'm afraid. If this is uh, defended correctly. Question is, does Reinhardt care that much? about Lady Stone, her skill effect here. I would defend it just in case. There's no surprises from the Kohor deck. Nothing can mm -hmm. be done from hand. Yeah. 
stop Stannis' draw. So there's one thing in Hanus' favor still, that he has the Econ if he talk, top decks something, but the problem is uh, look at the board on the other side and still one plot that doesn't hurt him. He's going to do another challenge, he's going to force Tormund to defend. He has another stand though after that, so. Still do all the challenges. And Anguik just keeps drawing and there's still Hollow Hill, so. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I don't want to be too whiny, but uh, come on. There's a duped Stormont <laughs> with Queensguard on setup, and on the other side we have a March Robert that was played even though it's open decklist, so clearly there was no better choice. And um, yeah. a hunting accident that couldn't be played. That's. I, I don't know what to say. It's just not meant to be in this game, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it's frustrating when you get a game where you feel like you can't do anything. Just not even an interesting game. Yes, yeah, something big here to survive for snow. He has Varami, right, as well, so. Okay, and a dupe for Angry, so yeah. he can first know. And Sunday if he has comes to. back anyway. May as well play for snow now, because it's um, it wins initiative. And what from the other side, King in the North? Well, that stops his econ as well. So if he does have, draw something big, he can play it. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, let's have a gates uh, of the moon here. <laughs> does Hanna go first? I mean, it, at this point, if, if he does, there's not much he can do. He cannot play a, a Robert with a Warhammer to uh, intimidate. I guess he could trade milk. If he plays Robert, then Azor Hive with Silicis reduction and then trades milk for Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. And then Lady Stoneheart kills Robert. <laughs> I so he doesn't actually get the location in play because he already played City Besieged. But still. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? So now I'm, I'm going to just take Renown and it should be over this round, I think. Or will it be? Yeah, it should be. There's an unopposed and he should be in two winning challenges at least. Should we see it through to the end or should we rage quit here? <laughs> well... Don't know if there is anything interesting that can happen, but we can see. Yeah, now we have some work to do to make the cut of this tournament. It's not in our hands anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Put to the start, okay. <laughs> All right. For good measure. We'll have to win the last two games and rely on strength of schedule, which is not going to be on our in our favor now. But yeah, yeah I don't completely understand how the strength of schedule thing works. But all right, 
well, if all of our opponents uh, we've played so far win the remaining two games, then I guess we, we would have a chance. But yeah. Sure. Okay, let's end this video quickly. There was uh, not much to say, so horrible, horrible, horrible. So uh, well done to the. Let's uh, find them so that I can say it out loud. Mm. <laughs> F four fields full of flesh and on fire, flesh on fire. Fine, great team. They're not even playing Alex Manotti. <laughs> Don't hit <laughs> him. Okay, and. Uh, oh. Well, we we'll now have to hope they win their remaining games, I guess. Remaining matches in <laughs> yeah, the coming weeks. Yeah, to give us the good strength of schedule. So, uh, let that be it for this week. Uh, so, we've recorded all three games. Not sure if uh, my game, Game 1, will be published. If it is, you'll probably already have seen it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, one good one and bit... two horrible ones, unfortunately. Yeah. But okay, Ho all hoping right. for better next week. So thank you all for being with us tonight and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.